Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always, Darth Devious, bringing you yet another video review, this time the Transformers Prime First Edition Bumblebee. You see him here in this nice package, yellow car, includes display stand, First Edition Series 001 Bumblebee. So yeah, I absolutely refused to get the Robots in Disguise version that's out now on the shelves. I just do not like the way it looks. I have the NYCC version, and to me, the mold is just superior to the RID version. It's not perfect, it has its flaws, but still, it's a good-looking Bumblebee. So when I saw that TF Source had this on sale for $10.99, I jumped on it. I was like, you know what? It's cheaper than the RID version. Looks better. It's not perfect, but it looks better. And because I have the NYCC version, I will now have two arm cannons. So I'll be borrowing the arm cannon from my NYCC version just for that purpose. So here we can take a look at the back of the box. There's no bios on these. But you see they had Bumblebee, RC, Starscream. Now I do have Starscream. Of course I now have Bumblebee. I have the pink version of RC. I will be getting Cliff Jumper sooner rather than later. Probably within the next week or two. You see how the display stand works. So we're going to get him out of here. Uh, it's going to be a quick review. I'm not going to go over the transformation because I already showed that off in my NYCC review. I'll compare the two paint jobs, compare the two robot modes. That's about it. So we'll take a look at him, get him out of his package, and uh, that's going to be it. Be right back. Alrighty, here's Bumblebee out of his package. Looking nice. Nice yellow. Nice Autobot symbol on the hood. Weapon stored on the bottom. Nice painted tail lights. Not too bad. He rolls real nice, you know. I don't have any issues with that. Now, I did have an issue with him right out of the box, which I'll be showing in a little bit. Forgive my reach here. And yeah, like all the other first editions, he comes with the stand. With the Autobot and Decepticon symbol on the side. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to use it. Now here's the NYCC version that I have. You see the yellows are much different. The windows are much different. His are clear blue. These are frosty blue. He's got clear blue headlights. He's got frosty blue headlights. Autobot symbol is more movie-like. This one's more cartoon-like. Mm. Neither one of them have their tailpipes painted. Both got their storage. Yeah, so... Same mold, slight differences. He's got more of his engine block painted in. He's only got the little tiny bit right there. Which one do I prefer? I don't know. Basically the same. I mean, the plastic on this does feel a little cheaper. I will say that. This one... This one seems to be a little bit better. So, get them, him out of here. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transform him off screen because... Seriously, if you want to see the transformation for this mold, go watch my review of the uh, NYCC version. I'll put a link down below. So give me a minute. I'll get him in his robot mode. And I'll show you where I had the problem out of the box, and we'll go from there. Right back. So here's Bumblebee in his robot mode. Not looking too bad. I do like this robot mode a lot more than the RID version's robot mode, even though I don't have that. And God willing, I'm never going to buy it. It's got really nice articulation. It's got a waist joint. Arms are a little weird, but they work. Though these ones are kind of loose compared to the NYCC version. Um, heads on a nice ball joint. This version's light piping actually works. Let's see if I can bring one of my lights closer and you can see. Yeah, nice glow. Because the NYCC version does not work at all. Because it's that cloudy plastic. 
He's got a decent knee. Not perfect, but it's decent. He's got some movement in his foot. He's got a swivel in his upper thigh. So, he's, yeah, he's not too bad. So, I'm going to show you where I had the problem, though. See that pin right there? You can't see it now. You can see it's a little bit chewed up from tools I used. You can't see it now, but when I first got this, this pin was not pushed in straight like it is now, but at an angle. So it was angled out like this through the yellow plastic in the back there that it's supposed to go into. So instead of going straight through, it went at an angle, and this wouldn't move at all. And if it didn't move, it wouldn't transform. So I was able to take the pin out, drill a tiny starter hole to get it into the right spot, and put it where it belongs, and fix it. It only took a couple minutes to fix, but at least now he can transform. And he's a lot more stable. So that's a good thing. So we got that. I'll bring in the uh, NYCC version. We'll put them side by side, because there are some paint differences between the two. And I've always had trouble getting this one to stand. Okay. So here you see him side by side. First thing you can tell, his face is darker. I mean, I'll bring him up here. You can see this one's got a more silver face that is more accurate to the show. This one's got like a dark silvery face. What I'm probably going to do is take his head apart and paint that part silver the way it's supposed to be. So, it'll look better. A little bit, little bit more show accurate. Um, on this one, you've got a stripe here with the orange around it. This one, you've just got a little bit of orange on the side. This one, the waist area is the same. Dark plastic with silver. The crotch is different. This one's just one solid color. Whereas this one, you've got dark spots on the side, and you got gray in the crotch area. And I think that looks better. It just makes it pop a little more and just gives them a little more character. So, yeah, that's about it. Mm. If you can get the first edition Bumblebee, if you really want Bumblebee in your collection, from Prime, get the first edition if you can find it. Like I said, TF Source got them on sale right now. Grab them if you can before they're gone. It's much better than the RID version. Now, one thing that is nice if you have both versions, or if you just have the NYCC version and you end up getting the first edition version, is you can actually give him both guns to make him more show accurate. See? How cool is that? And he's got both his weapons. And he's ready to go blast some Decepticons. So. That's going to do it for this look at this version of Bumblebee. And if you, if you get stuck getting the R.I.D. version. At least that comes with two blasters. There is that. The kibble behind his head gets annoying and. This one just looks better, I think. I, it's still not the greatest mold, but it's a lot better than the R.I.D. version, which is probably why the R.I.D. version is shelf warming right now. So that's going to do it for this. As always, be, ha ha ha, good. You guys, be good. Be good. Be good. All right, that's enough of that. Bye. Ah, oh, Bumblebee. What seems to be the trouble this time? I have no idea what you're talking about. You know that. What is it? Just show me. Oh, no. Ratchet to Optimus. We may have a problem.